Hello everyone, welcome back. Dire team back. I'm Shiva, I'm joined by Owen. No, oh, Shiva, you, you sound you rather gruff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. This, it's this rough night. It's this yeah. Boat. yeah. Uh, we went out in the bizzo last yeah. night. and uh, On the bizzo? On the bizzo. In Australia. Yeah, 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 you know the word bizzo? Seconds, I've never heard bizzo. A bizzo? What's it's a bizzo? Like on the biz, on the, on the bosh. A Five bizzo on the barbie. It's, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. What? Why would you not throw a bizzo on it's the barbie? Uh, it's drinking. Reserve time. Drinking. Drizzo is it? Uh, Drizzo. Drinking. It's a bizzo. I'll have a pint of bizzo. No, no, no. You don't do it that way. It doesn't. It doesn't work that way. Is it like a Heineken? Is no, it? it's not a brand. It's not a brand. Why don't they make it? But I'm going to move to Australia like, like and sell beer you're, called you're on bizzo. The biz. you're, on, you're on the drink. You're on like the beer. Bizzo. Uh, you're having a beer or something like that. Would be would be bizzo. Is it a name? Have you got a friend called Bizzo? I do not have a We're friend. We're going down Bizzo. Sydney with Bizzo and I don't know what's another Australian uh, you, you, name. You could, you could do Dazza. 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 Dazza would be a classic Australian douche name. A Dazza? Yeah, Dazza. No one is christened Dazza. No. No. The Darren. Darren. Oh, okay. What well, you be called Dazza? Oh, yeah, you just change your R's for Zs, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tobas. So you just. Radiant <laughs> Team Bad. Tobas won as <laughs> <laughs> no, That's not the way that <laughs> works. <laughs> you replace the R with a Z. No, if you ever want to actually have my worst, like the worst name is when you try and actually film me like fully, where you have uh, Toby One Kenobi. Yeah. Um, and I remember on EA, uh, it limited you to an eight character name. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, so it went Toby One Kenobi or something. Wait, eight. Five. Oh, seconds that's remaining. rude. <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> Did you have that as your name? The realization on your face <laughs> when you hit the eighth character like, oh, I was like trying to count eight. That's rude. That's f yeah, yeah. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> did you have that as your name or did you? I accidentally had it as my name because I didn't realize it. I typed my entire name. I didn't realize it. What game was this? Or what were we playing on EA? Uh, FIFA or something? No, no, no. That was Golf? back. Um, what did I have? I think what it was, was the, the game? it was the original Star Wars game. Oh, Star Wars game. Yeah, because they were released through the the EA platform. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> were they good? The original Star Wars games, or they weren't good well, games. The Force Unleashed and like, like not the Force Unleashed. Uh, like um, when we had Kyle Katan, Jedi Outcast, and then Jedi Academy. They were classic. Because they they no, they weren't really based on the films, were they? They were always kind of these own little stories in the Star it Wars was world. Extended universe. Pitch. Yeah. But yeah. it was all um approved by LucasArts, uh, who were the ones who were releasing the games. So yeah, it was. Technically, it was. It was accurate. Yeah. Star Wars universe. Yeah. But I can't remember. I can't think Ten of the word. Ten seconds remaining. Called. Approved by the Lucas. Five seconds. That was a long remaining. name to put in on a video game. They're Toby One Kenobi. You know what I mean? When you when you when you're playing a video game, huh? you're putting your full name, pick. not just Toby. No. Because oh, it was just my lo it's my usernames. Because like the most amount of times that you just try and put. Oh, was this an online game? Oh, yeah, it was, oh, you registered online. Oh, it was an online so thing. Ah, oh, okay. You it wasn't register just a, and you want to okay. put Toby One in, and there's a shit ton of people who. I thought you Toby meant like one. it was like some single player game like Zelda, and you're like, I want to be called Toby One Kenobi. No, 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 no. Toby Five One Kenobi, the princess remaining. is in trouble. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Hey. That fucking Zelda. I Reserve like time. So I played that game so much. Talking about it, I always I always remembers me of Navi. It's it's the same thing, isn't it? Radiant yeah. you know? team back. Yeah. And Tiny and is an nothing like Link. A relevant, a relevant Navi. Yeah. He links to Sven. He links to Sven. Sven is Link. Sven is not Link. Link isn't buff. Link is like a little it's, elf person. It's the Link when you grow up. Ten seconds. Yeah, but he's not. Yeah, even then he was pretty he's, slender. Yeah, wasn't he's, he? he's not really a Sven figure. Uh, Five, six, I don't know. Maybe, there's maybe it's Link meets steroids. Yeah, I guess so. There's not really any heroes that are like Reserve a normal time. human, are there? <laughs> well, I mean, there there are humanoids. Hang, hang on, Gareth has a fucking. Has he got? Yeah, click click on the Where's heroes on? page so we can actually see all the heroes standing next to each other. Oh. Someone is a normal human. Who is not? Dro, Dro would be a uh, Dro Templar assassin. Bad. The ladies, Morana would be. I mean, be Drow human. is a little bit Link esque, you know what I mean? That could be Link <laughs> in kind of cross dress, you know what I mean? <laughs> it is. You got like the hood, right. the bow, we've, the, we've, the we've hair. We've now hit the secret that Dro is, in fact, a man. Dro is um, Link. I think that's the closest you can get. Kunker is a very person person. Yeah, but he's. No, he does, doesn't have the face, he's Five got the beard. Seconds Just because you've got a beard doesn't make you a non person. No, no, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, but. <laughs> Legion Commander. Reserve time. Legion Commander is is definitely a person hero. Same with Phantom Assassin. 
something with like just the headpiece people. Yeah, there's yeah, there's quite there's, a few. There's, there's, there's enough of them. No young human. They're all old guys. I guess, I guess Anti Mage is young. Anti Mage is probably the youngest. Would Anti Mage? Really Everyone else is old. Gyro is an old man. Sniper is an old man. Kunkas an old man. Omni Knight is an old man. Anti Mage is still middle. Zeus is an old man. Anti Mage is definitely middle aged. But he's the youngest, I think. I think Vengeful Spirit would actually probably look the youngest. Oh, okay, he including females. I mean, the, the females are young. Lean is young, Windrage is young, mm. CM is like, okay, The girls okay, are young, okay, but the, the guys the are old. Young, the youngest <laughs> man. Skyrath? Like, this, oh, the young, this oh, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, like Skyrath. Out of college, like. Yeah, but isn't he some kind of, like, flying up in the air, God <sighs> heaven thing, so he's, like, true. super old? So, yeah, but he looks the youngest. Yeah, like, yeah, he, maybe uh, he's, like, a time lord kind of thing. Like, he's uh, yeah. lived forever, but he looks insanely young. Yeah, but appearance-wise, he's certainly the, the youngest guy. <laughs> oh, mm, no, Lycan's old as well. Where can see, all the guys are old. Radiant Where team is pick. our young gunning? We need a young hero. Yeah, we a young a male hero. Like he'll, he'll come in and he'll just start throwing iPods at people and be like, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. There's no young male hero in Dota 2. Wow. Come on. I feel oppressed. Ten seconds. You know, I'm not represented in this video game. Techies. Techies is the young male hero. Five seconds. Male and probably a techies is like representative of what everyone was like when they were a kid. Just this annoying. <laughs> you know. Reserve yeah. time. Everything has to die. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I hate the world. You know, that's like when you're a kid and you go for like your depressed stage. Techie doesn't hate the world. Oh, I guess he's always smiling. He's always very happy about blowing up. The yeah, world. that's because he's been drinking like the Alka Pops and stuff. You know, he's been, you know, he's, he's really happy and giddy. The Alka Pops. Yeah, that's what you know. That's the drink, isn't it? That they have in Australia. Alka Pops. What's Alka Pops? I don't know. It's like alcohol. It's like that that drink. I don't know. Some kind of drink. Okay. Okay. I know I've I've encountered such things in Germany, where they have like this. It's beer, but it's like, uh, <laughs> like it's soda. Yeah, it's similar it's to that. Dire team. If, you, if that's what you mean by like alcohol pops. Mm. Mm. No, we we would talk about the game, but you know what? We just we don't like to. Well, we would talk about it as well. I mean, obviously, this game for Beaned, it doesn't mean anything. But ninjas in pajamas is very important. Mm -hmm. Ten um, seconds remaining. And Bean Boys wonder if they're going to do something fun. I mean, this is sort of fun, Five you know. They're they're running the tiny IO, but it's it's not them just going totally off track and picking whatever. They they are still playing time. to win, which is Admiral, uh, which is exactly what we want to see. Wait, you got to wait for the Broodmother pickup. Sure, they That's might pick up something a little bit off off the mark in the last two. It's, it's, it's a, there's it's still definitely potential. It's the Bambo special. Uh, is nicely with the IO and the tiny. It's Radiant been banned against team. them, I think, in their last three games in the second phase it was banned. Um, actually, in one of the games it was in the very last ban, it was in the fifth ban, it got taken out against them. I but mean, Ninjas in Pajamas, I, I guess they'll... Do you think, they must be wanting to take the life steal this early. Because it's set up quite nice. Ursa's mm. banned out. They don't have the Jug to turn to Five for Era. You've got that Rage to help you against Tiny. You can instantly just make a beeline for Reserve the IO and time. destroy him. You got a Slada. You know they're they're gonna want to have error on the live stream of this game, surely. What well, uh, what else could there be? I mean, maybe Ten maybe throwing an, a, a Weaver. Earth Shaker. <laughs> but the Bamboo Shaker. There you go. There's your Bamboo here. Right? A bit of fun. We've seen him do it already this uh, this event. And yeah, like this, the Ninjas in Pajamas perfectly set up the live stealer pick. Toby, fix uh, Mike. Mike is low. You want to talk for a second? Hello. Okay, you're a little bit louder than me. Uh, turn yourself up. Turn yourself up. Not by much. Really not by much. Maybe it's just because this thing is in my remaining. mouth. That's, yeah, it sounds like that. Fine. Fine. Yeah, so Bean is already five limited. Yeah, Bean... Remaining. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they lost five games, so they cannot... Yeah, yeah they're, the they're out. They're, they, they are they going out. They are most definitely out, but Ninjas in Pajamas are in this four-way yeah, tie they, for third position. So every win counts. They yeah. they will not be messing around. Yeah, uh, Ninjas in Pajamas at least. They they need this win. They desperately need it. Otherwise, yeah, they could be in a tiebreak situation, or worse, you know, with, with how good elements are doing today, the Ninjas Pajamas could be out of the running if they they have too many losses. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hit, the, hit the nail on the head. Five man. seconds Life stealer in. Yeah. We've got our Standard unique offlane hero, Bambo, which is just his initiator. Reserve so, but, but what are Bean Boys still looking for? They're still looking for Council's hero. Um, uh, both mids. That's the last Yeah, the two gonna, mids, yeah. yeah that's, that's basically what we're coming down There's to. quite a few mids still available as well. I'm looking at the biggest one, like, which is the Invoker. Invoker, uh, yeah, absolutely. You also have the other option. Like, TA Dire is... Team I'm wondering if it's more of a safety ban than anything else. He played it last game. 
Okay. It's what he played last game, so okay. so maybe just looking at that. And even it's though they lost, like he still can, you can run Io kept himself in. Mid, so you can still run a different one. True. Yeah. I'm actually when they when Sing Sing plays Ten the tiny and the Io tiny, I'm, do they normally take the mid lane over safe? I I feel like he does it in both. Five I can't remember which. Remaining. If they do switch the roles around, if Sing's going to play the tiny, uh, but that is certainly a possibility. Mm. Uh, especially if they feel that there's a mid matchup that Mirana. is going to be nice for them. Mirana's picked up. Um, team I don't know if you necessarily take the tiny I mid against that. I think Bean Boys may just pick something for cancel here. Because I know that Sing can like switch around, but I don't know if cancel necessarily you know switches just like that from mid to safe lane. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to either. Yeah, I th I think they'll. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can find. You still got Invoker in the pool. Like, yeah, I mean, Invoker is definitely good here. Me. He's been the king of the mid. Wait, everyone's saying my mic's too low? What the hell? <laughs> I mean, it'll be fine. Well, it's a five minute delay, isn't it? That's five minutes ago. So, yeah, so. Five, six minutes, something like that. Oh, yeah, there's, there's your cancel hero. So, uh, a nice little finisher as well. Makes it a little harder for Lysias to lock down a target, you know, you Astral. Whoever he's going on, and suddenly, you know, the the raise duration is off by the time his his kind of uh, the hero that he's eyeing up is out of the astral, and uh, they can turn around and punch him. But uh, overall, I think ninjas in pajamas do obviously have the the sh the stronger draw. Slardar, darks yeah. here, life stealer, CM, and Marana is all looking very good for them. Uh, but I think Council will be happy with getting getting the OD as that final pick. Yeah. We 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 turned my mic up a little bit before, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I'm sure. I can't believe I'm being out leveled by OD. I I, I I feel shamed me. now. What That's out what? Just, you're louder than me. Five Play. seconds just in general. Play. What are they talking about? Oh, e gaming bed. Oh, <laughs> what are you playing? E gaming? What did you press? I hit the like, wrong button. They're right next to each other. E gaming bed. E gaming bed. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, oh, what what, what do we got to pause for? Oh look, and uh, because oh, we gonna... at that point we took over the mainstream, so everyone would have. <laughs> oh, did everyone on the mainstream hear <laughs> oh, you just God pressing? He gave me back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. He gave me back. Welcome to. He gave me back. Um, on the mainstream. God, why? This, what this is, is the other EU this game? This is the shit cast. No, I, I am generally intrigued we why are we watching this game on the mainstream. Yeah, uh, but big shout out to everyone that's watching on the mainstream because yeah. this game, I mean, yeah. it, no, it's very important for NIP. I mean, we, we know yes. that Bean are, uh, you know, they're they're not in a good position. They're they're going home, unfortunately, for the boys. But there's, yeah, for, ni for ninjas in pajamas, here. this is very important. For ninjas in pajamas, they need this win, and uh, Bean. You know they're gonna they're gonna look for the glory victory. They're, they're gonna look for the bonus win. This is you know, it's like the booby prize. It's a this, little bit this, of an This extra. is the uh, we can say we knocked you out of the qualifiers, bro. Yeah, and kind that's of. you know something that you want to say. You know, a lot of people that's that's quite a badge to have on your shoulder. You know, that's, that you that's took Cinder out. You it's took the, the Cinder and down. Yeah, and not that's not easy to do. Cinder is the legend at qualifying for Valve events when he shouldn't. He is. Uh, yes. Not that I'm saying Nib shouldn't. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Nip, Nip had a great day on day one, uh, no, but they've had, a, they've had a rough day to start today. Like, you, you, like and the, you said good. I didn't quite catch the game, but you cast it. You said yeah. a long game as well. It was, it was quite a, a it soul was a destroying game. It was a coin yeah. patinka. He just kept going and going and going and going and going, and the rest of his team wasn't really getting much. It turned into this uh, seventy-minute game of just waiting for elements to try and finish the game. The battle begins. They managed to repair a 30,000 gold the experience deficit that they had. And then they still lost the game to Megas. It was it was brutal, to say the least. Uh, there's no Tinker this game, no Nagasara, none of that kind of postpone uh, the game, let it go we have manly, on and on. Manly heroes. We do, we have a lot of playmaking heroes on both sides. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun to see, uh, especially Bambo. You know, he can get a kind of a decent start in straight away with the creep block. And it's a, it's a perfectly successful one as well. Holds about the three melee creeps. A uh, ranged creep will go alone as he leads himself into battle to find out that his, his army has abandoned him. Welcome to the story of Brian. Brian the ranged creep. Brian? Yeah, Brian. Why Brian? Yes, why not? Brian's dead. Bri well, he obviously wasn't the messiah then. And these lanes, these lanes are what we expected though. Uh, Sing indeed is, is safe lane with Boogie Ancillary backing him up. 
As uh, there's a play around with Trixie, as uh, Trixie is taking a fair bit of punch here from the creeps in the jungle as well as he passes by. You made Trixie's life really absolute hell. They have to keep the tether Dude, slow. Yeah, on he's him. still level one, of course. So uh, I'm gonna have enough damage to bring him down, though. Crush from Cinder hold him back. Yeah, you know, it's just Cinder and creating space. Like, you know, okay, take that damage and hey, Bambo's dead. Yeah. Um, okay, so Hardy just rotated in. They had an early level up in the open wounds, and a simple, simple kill. Yeah, I mean, where, where were you? Help me, Owen. Where were I? I just you're on the camera, the shame of missing. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, you're uh, the driver. I'm the passenger. Right, I'm just going to be the cameraman now. Owen is now going to solo cast this. Yeah, the solos up. <laughs> oh, boy. Mid lane house. The CS looking to cancel. Three for two. Five for one. Um, we've got a good creep wave coming in here. We'll see if he gets any. Does he get the CS under the tower? Oh, we got one. Look at this. Is he going to get the next one? Is he get the cancel? Yeah, easy. Easy. And this one more to seal the deal. Ah, uh, no! The lane is lost. But no, Cancel's doing well. He's getting it. Well hey, Majority watch. CS under the tower here for Cancel. As long as he gets the range creep, he doesn't care. But will he get it? As as range That's creep, the question. Count. And he got it, Toby. Both of them as well. Cancel, this, this lane really secured. We're gonna take this car too, man. No, you got to watch the CS. It's all about the CS, Toby. Yes. Oh, Singh doing. Singh is having a fantastic time on the bottom line. 16 for 2. Uh, coming ahead of Error, but of course Error did get himself that first blood, so pretty much offsets that. Curious to see what uh, Singh bi builds into as well. Like, yeah, we're going to see Bling, Echo Saber, Ags. What order is he going to go want to do it in? That's the question. Well, knowing Singh, Singh, he always likes to have his own aggression items. He doesn't like to rely on anybody else to do his hard work for him, so Blink is definitely going to be in his arsenal. Yeah. It's just Not for sure early on. It's just when he buys it is the is the only other question we really ask. I think if he, if he gets the cash, he may be tempted to in this bottom lane. Uh, Trixie and Sin trying to do their best to put the pressure on, but uh, considering they are running this kind of this dual lane aggressively, it's not Tell really stopping Sing having a great time. And Sin, Sin needs a little bit more life. And oh, the courier, the courier as well. This this lane yeah this lane is not going to plan at all for NIP. You you you're running a slider dark seer lane. You're not slowing down the tiny's farm, and you're you're giving him a kill as well. Now I think you're still okay with it at the end of the day. Like okay yeah Cinder and die. This happens frequently. Uh, but Sing was hunting. Like he was moving off the lane. Yes he's found a lot of CS. But Trixie's finding his level. He's got the level I two guess. iron shell, which is enough Radiant's burn on the tiny that he can attack. keep the IO on the bot lane. Forcing uh, Celery to actually heal him up time and time again. Yeah, and it does, of course, keep the supports pressure down here, so there'll be no help for Council really at the moment in the mid lane, as uh, Koifer is starting to take a significant lead now. Uh, we've had a full wave or so of creeps ahead of him, 21 to the 13. Celery, easy bounty rune, Cinderin, and it's going to come in, and we'll give Celery a bit of a slap, but he's going to be fine with the tether across the boogie. Celery is very happy with this. Like he gets a bounty rune, he gets a couple yeah. of bottle charges up his sleeve. He's level three so at four minutes. It's all good. Yeah, he, he can give it back to Sing Sing. And those levels, like you point out, like that's the best thing. Uh, you're getting both Rubik and Io yeah. with levels. Rubik with level three means he can start roaming around and ganking. The Io, the closer he gets to level six, the sooner he can start bringing in Sing Sing to do more as well. Instead so of just leaving Sing Sing to farm. Uh, Sing, an indication on. The eyes where he finishes off the dreads, and uh, next we will see what the plan is. Bambo very close to picking up the arcane boots on the top, Selling so 100 or so away from it. And uh, mid lane cancel has uh, been able to catch back up with Koi first. Again, back and forth between the two mid laners. Very close in terms of actions. Trixie into the side jungle. And uh, leaving Sind on his own down bottom, trying to get themselves the, the maximum amount of experience they can from the map at this stage. It's, it's the easy farm way. It's yeah, it's the safe way. Are you actually wait for any kind of team when they go up against NIP in the future to start yep. warding this area up? Because if, if it's not their off lane that's just making the most out of it, which you can't contest, like you got an observer ward sitting behind the lane, which isn't too bad. Uh, but like when they run to Venom, oh, mid lane. Quite fat. He actually hit the, hit the arrow. He hit the arrow and he got in with the star storm and it was all over. Just outplaying uh, Council there, managing to get that arrow to connect. We're, we're one for three, OD. We've, we've got to get better at this. One for three. Oh, yeah. Come on, Tate. <laughs> one for three on camera. And OD is the one controlling the camera, everyone. 
Actually, it, it, it seems my mic is also insanely low for people, but uh, our tech guys are, the tech guys are running in and out and changing. I don't know what went wrong because like I mean, at least they say it's I, low I, I and cast, they they I cast three games in here at the start of the day. How does it change? What did she have a break? I don't know. She must have touched something. I don't know. But at least at least they can still hear you. It's not like they can't hear you at all. It's, well, what, it's what everyone wanted, man. It's for me to get uh, like semi muted. Duh. Yeah. Bambo. He is not having a good time. He is 7-0 I mean, yeah, on he's... this offlane Earth Shaker. It's not he ideal, not... but it's never going to be ideal, I feel, for an offlane Shaker. It's it's not the easy lane for him. I suppose he still picked up his Arcane Boots, so it's not terrible on that front. But it's still that question mark of like, okay. Yeah. Like, Bambo holds the lane back. He's going to get a little bit of farm, but he's not stopping the live stealer. And Cinderin's still finding his own farm. They start to have delivery systems with Darkseer probably surging in. Uh, Cinderin and then Lifesteal is just infested inside. So they can still close the distance. They can still be the aggressor's nip. And one arrow is already going to catch you out of position as well. They don't really have a great answer apart from the OD save from Imprisonment. So I'm seeing a lot of issues once NIP feel ready to start fighting. Oh, when do you think that is? What, what is oh, the key? Oh, skill for the kill. With a backpack, he needs to punch him one more time. The avalanche from Tiny will do the work, and he tosses him up, holds him in the oh! air. Cinderin can't create the space, so Sing Sing will kill off Trixie, and Cinderin now needs to run. Yeah, he's got to get himself the hell out of there, but the ball's chucked forward. Uh, get a bit of damage in onto Sim, but they won't kill him. And uh, as we're seeing, yeah, uh, Trixie and Sin, they've got to be careful how they go in onto these two at this stage, because the IO and the, the Tiny, they're quick to turn it around and sink. Uh, indeed, straight up for the blink, and just a few hundred gold away from it. He's very close. Hani wants to go for this kill. It's just too easy right now. He has to self imprison. Hani still actually doesn't have Nova. Went three points up in frostbite. The arrow from Coin, but there was one creep blocking it. But Hani stays close enough to help out. Oh, and Sin. Oh, let me see if we can get an easy kill there. As he saw, Radiant's so they're very low on life. Under but, but yeah, this this, have obs. this mid lane cancel dying two times. It's not going to plan there for Bean, certainly. And NIP will be will be very happy with how Koif was coming out on top in that mid lane. A soldier's fortune. Is still having the time. Radiance to top tower top. is under attack. What we got? An oh yeah. Two hundred gold away. Yeah, he's having him. like he's the freest tower lane. and Bambo can't stop that. Sixty-six CS at eight and a mi eight minutes and a half is absolutely fantastic. Era is also going to have a yeah, tower under his belt pretty soon with this amount of pressure that he's putting on. Not a surprise too, uh, Blink Dagger is now six gold away for Sing Sing. So I look for the rotation top. Yeah, this could maybe turn things around in terms of top and mid. If Sing can get himself in for a bit of action. He's actually mangoed up. He wants to go for a play on to Trixie. He's got the combination, but I don't think he's got enough damage uh, to kill Trixie off. Uh, Trixie's got no one charges, yeah, so... He's, he's got the infused raindrops. Ah, so oh, okay, yeah, Sing the raindrops Sing, will save him. Like, yeah. Sing Sing goes for something, and yeah. then, like, most of the damage gets negated. He'll give two one charges over as well. Oh. That is here. Bambo with the farming Echo Slam. Yes, you did, Toby. Uh, I'm like, Echo Slam global, but Bambo isn't near anybody, <laughs> apart from a creep wave. Now there's help on the bottom lane. It's going to come in the form of the IO. Uh, but Cinder is the one he really wants. But oh. I suppose this will work. Toss That's it back nice. after you've already used the surge, and Boogie rotates into the lane too. Yeah, oh. really sweet little play there from Bean. As they they read and I feel like a book. They knew that Trixie was going to start and stick around, putting on the pressure. He did not expect the Blink Dagger reveal. But that is the reveal. NIP are going to be well aware that that's on the map now. Ping out there, as we saw, I think, from, from Dark Tears. They do just have that bit of war vision. As he pings on to Sing and says, Watch out, boys. That tiny's got a blink. Yeah. Patience from Sing as well. Just to sit there waiting for the right moment. Like, he led Celery yeah. take most of the farm in the, in, on the bot lane as well as the experience. But this is now bringing the IO in range of his of his level 6. The tiny's up at 9. Yeah, that's big. So you got your 4 4 combination. Radiant's is the first damage that you really want to have on him. And when they start roaming around, then Boogie can take the space on bottom. Then he can start working his way to level 6. Oh, this is nice for Cinder as well. He has an invis room. Yeah, with um, the imprisonment already being used, there's no defensive abilities to cancel. And Trixie can just back straight back into the fight, but Avalanche and Toss, the damage, Cinderin again. Why is it always Cinderin? He'll go down as a trade-off. I mean, that'll be fine with it, unless they can find more Bean. And uh, Trixie, they certainly can. Sings in there with the toss back. They'll take one, but they're all the Star Storm. 
from Quaifa as he picks up a second and a third for NIP. As, I mean, Bean Boys look to be on the verge of turning it around, but suddenly the entire team of NIP is there and they're able to come out on top and put pressure onto the tier one. So they want to keep going as well. If Cancel can get an imprisonment, no, we can't. They'll just retreat. But great positioning from NIP. Like Harley sitting on the back lines throughout the old So if Beans had Radiance any kind of thought about moving forward, attack. it was instantly gone. And the combination of that quick little damage and control coming in with a star fall, it was more than they were really able to either heal through or just handle in Radiance general. Radiance top tower is under attack. Era marking on that Echo Saber. Oh, the club and just trying for the Orchid. Arnie, good levels as well on him. Level 7 on the CM. And so he's been able to, to get a few of those creeps and immediately sing back on the map. It's up towards the top. I mean, the thing is, though, even when they well, they have now got this 6, of course, with the relocate uh, back off cooldown in, a, in 15 seconds, it's so hard to... How are they, I don't know how they kill Era. It, they, they've got to catch him before he rages. Because otherwise, the damage... It's just not going to be there unless they start to pull it together a full five-man push and, and are able to just kind of shove the lane down his throat. It's, he's, he's always going to be out of there. You know, at this point of the game, I'd probably just say you go for everyone else apart from Yeah. Uh, oh! Unless he does this. Yeah. Like, okay, so it's, you, you trigger Rage early on. You can't go for a relocate on this, but you probably want to. I mean, maybe... Like, get in behind the tower, pop the Crystal Maiden, and make the most when the Rage is down. I mean, it's such a small window when Rage is down. It's a couple of seconds, and it's going to be back and available. Well, your only other option is Booty gets the lift. Yeah, it's, you've got to get some sort of instant lockdown. Otherwise, you are just not killing this lifestealer, especially with the start that Era's had. Blink Echo same would work, but Bambo is still short. He's at 1600 at the moment. Ooh, Boogie the nearly got the telekinesis bit, there. So there goes your Rage. They'll waste the Fissure, and Boogie will lose his life. He steals Rage. But I will not really achieve much. It's the top tower where they're fighting and actually not even doing that. A relocate down the bottom lane. Sing has abandoned them. Dyer's top yep. tower. Slary is going to be left for dead as he heads back up. Maybe he can get the tether across onto Bambo. Look at Bambo's positioning. He's like, Fisherick, try to stay as close as he uh, can. He's like, no, nah, I can't save you. He, uh, he can't save him. Does he lose his own life for this? You won't get hit by the arrow and yeah, okay, they're not going to dive onto the tier 1 tower. But they can push it. Dyer's middle tower. Sing can get a bit of harassment onto the tier 1 bottom. Uh, as he pushes down, uh, but indeed NIP attack. for sure will take this tier one up top. Bambi trying to slow it Dyer's with the Fisher, the gold for the he, He's relatively close to that blink dagger though, Toby. He is a few hundred gold, and then we may see the Bambo plays come in. Now, once he has it, this is definitely what he needs to do, because right now there's no initiation, which is instant. A tiny jumps in and she's like, you can't deal with the rage, but the echo slam, however, it can do the work attack. as long as Arrow doesn't instantly react doesn't get the armor up and doesn't get rage off then you get a chance but Eros also been very very defensive with his with his infest like whenever there was a possibility for a fight he hasn't been using it like I said just jumping inside the jungle and just flash farming with it that way or even using it as a combination to get into a fight it just hasn't happened Eros just walked in most of the prize is mine sing as well as like arrow working towards that the echo, but as we can see, this the difference in farm error. And we're nearly 2k ahead of Sing and in terms of all overall value. We'll that shot. And looking very, very terrifying as well. In fact, an error. Mr. I still leap for the Blink Dagger. Error starts his TP down the bottom lane. And that is what they sit. They will know that backup is coming through. They don't have a ward here, Bean Boys, but they saw Era teeping out from this point. And uh, you know, if you're teeping out just like that from the land, and you're not appearing on the top of the middle lane, that they know that NIP want to fight down bottom. So Sing, understandably, keeping himself pretty much hidden, and Solari on the side as well has got the relocate if needed. And in fact, Bean Boys. They're going to be bringing the numbers. They're preparing to fight. Bambo has that blink dagger. Oh, Celery so close. The Echo Slam. The Fissure with the Avalanche Toss combination. They may get them all. Honey will let the ult to go on the tree lines. And Era needs a man up as the life steal. A tiny is brought down. Hurting and Brisbane will take Honey out of the field for now. And then back into it. The arrow flies more, but Boogie has the rage. And Honey tries to stay alive over in the tree lines. One charge is triggered. Still not enough, not, enough, not enough life to survive. As Era will move in. Turns on the armor and on cancel. He blew the the ultimate it did practically no damage whatsoever Biggie will fall as well and the rest of Nipper mopping up the piece of celery will TP out to safety I mean this is the problem we, we, we saw a really good echo slam into avalanche but if you don't kill error 
At the start, you're just not going to kill him that entire team fight. Error played around it, Rage is out, Rage is back in. And this Lifestealer is just a massive issue. We, we, we saw in the draft, NIP, they set up the, the, the potential to have this hero perfectly. And it just really is a very, very good game for the Radiant's Lifestealer. And especially when he's this far ahead, Radiant 16 minutes in. Yeah, 8.7k net worth, not too shabby. Overall for NP2, they're looking at about 5,000 advantage in the gold. 6k in the experience. It's bringing forth some interesting items, because normally you look to see the Darkseer pick up the mech. But this is a dominating trick. Oh, he's tanking up. But without having that like that quick burst heal sustain, like the rest, like everyone else apart from Lifestealer, kind of has to do things the hard way and survive. Uh, tiny. Avalanche. Toss gonna go to work once again. Syndrome to focus because the uh, oh, amplification off. Relocate into an era. Focuses instantly onto Boogie. They'll move over with Koi from the star pole. They want to kill off Celery, so there's no relocate out here. Three seconds to freedom, and he won't get that. Earthshaker blinks into the tree line and escapes that way. But amplification on Tiny, they'll see him blink down. But NIP can't catch up to it. So again, Cinder and the sacrificial lamp. But the trade-off is always good for them. Yeah, you're losing two heroes, and Eros hitting himself and forward in the action. 7-0-2 for the Life Stealer, and very, very close to having a Desolator as well. You're looking at 18, 19 minutes in. Deso, Armlet, Echo Phase. That's a very scary Life Stealer. And uh, I mean, in that fight, we saw him pretty much take down the Rubik in three hits. Soon it's just going to be two that's needed to, to chomp down on some of the backliners. Yeah, this is just really solid performance from NIP all over. And they don't want to let up, so smoke up, move into the Radiant Jungle, try and assault anyone that feels like they can just freely farm. Like, you see Earthshaker building into a Yule Scepter more than likely. It's just this highly maneuverable kind of approach that Bambo likes to go for. But it's it's going to take him some time. He can't keep control of the waves with Koi for having his Aghanim Scepter. And Boogie sees this, but there's not a lot he can do. Allies disappear. I'm back up. Go for the Moonlight, and they'll almost certainly have a very high chance of getting at least one off the back of this, and indeed, Rubik. Instantly removed, and with the player off the map, and the push coming in bottom, Trixie's got the Alpha Wolf, they have that aura. They could put pressure on, but it looks like they're just going to move towards the easier towers, and Tier 1, very low in the mid lane, it's the easier objective. Bean, they are looking for the trade though, you've got Singh and Soleri pressuring up top, and uh, they may just be able to find this Tier 1... Uh, in return, as it doesn't look like ninjas in pajamas fallen. are in a place to defend, they will start to TP. Dyer's and in fact, what well, with the instant play there onto the IO, they're, they're going to be able to get both of them there. There was a bit of a slow reaction. I don't know if necessarily they may sh maybe should have just gone for the straight relocate out as soon as they saw those mass TPs. But no chance. And Ulsin does whiff up the play there as he tried to get the cross on the cancel, but cancel. Doesn't want to go back in. He knows that there's heroes behind him. The Fisher does block Trixie. He just has to TP. Yeah, and the blink was already used to get into that first position, so no way of closing that gap again. And this way you don't give respect to Cinderin's blink dagger. By the fact this came on, you killed the Rubik, and I, yeah, okay. The Slana probably didn't have the greatest early game ever, but there was so much space created, so many buildings brought down, and Cinderin was still being involved. And he's got six assists to his name. He's done the work, he's got the gold. And the Blink Dagger as well as Tranquils is all he needs. He's the delivery system for Era. And he's always getting the amplification off at the start of the fight. And he just can't survive through this. The IO is unable to heal through it. He's still building himself in towards that mech. The tankiness of the Tiny is sort of there, but 1600 isn't really that much. When you think about how much Nip is capable of doing damage-wise. Oh, Bambo is going to walk straight into this smoke. And Era just racking up the blood and the kills. 9-0-3. He is so far ahead at, ahead in net worth. They they need to Radiant's kill him, but as we've said, attack. they it just doesn't feel like they have the heroes to do so unless they get the perfect perfect kind of chain lockdown. This life stealer, we may Radiant's not see him die at all this game. Uh, it's quite possible. In fact, the game may start to end now. They just go high ground. Dyer's so obviously you're trying to stall so things out with a tiny. You're looking for your Aghanim so you can push harder. But NIP know they have the advantage. They have an Aegis the Immortal in Era, so he brings down the tier 3 tower half. They don't have to commit properly to this, but next time they push, that tier 3 tower is gone. 
been the smoke time. They already used one. I don't know if they've had, have they got another they one. They don't have another one on, on them. Oh, they've got one in uh, Boogie's stash, yeah. He's not bought it out. That observer was perfectly positioned for Beans. So they can see the NIP trap being prepared, and the sentry yeah. ward, which is That's down, is one. just out of range of the ops. So, Cinderin. Okay, the four stops there, but it's not going to stop the Odie from dying. The Arrow will connect onto Trixie, as Odie has to go for his own defensive imprisonment. An amplification, Solomon cancels against the ulti off, but Bamboo has to commit his ultimate as well just to kill off Trixie. But it's Sing Sing who goes down on the other side. So, he can have a two for two trade off, but the big man is still error off and running. Celery can relocate, but into a bad position, has to tether himself out. Koifer can't get there in time. And again, Bean Boys. I mean, as you said, they, they had the vision to, to kind of give them the edge of the start, but still, the jump in and the committal was that much more stronger than NIP. And once Radiant's again, Error, as soon as he's in there in the action with the rage, there's nothing that they can Radiant's do to stop him. They fallen. have that one kind of defensive potential of, of a, an Astral, but as soon as that's used, as soon as the fish is out, there's no chance of controlling this lifestealer. He's not being blocked up, not being held away from his targets, and Error can just destroy whoever he gets his claws on. And it's time to force the issue again. Bambo's going to get five seconds done and a blink tag of error. Oh, Celery tried to keep him alive, triggered the shrine, kept the tether up. But with an arrow like that, with five seconds on the stun from Koifa, he's just going to go again in a second and look for another target. And Aero will be happy to do this. He's still got Aegis for another two minutes or something like that. Just under yeah, two minutes. It's, yeah, it's still very much... All the time NIP could want to, to play around with the Bean Boys. Koifer racking up the goal, 3.6k. How can they stop this high ground push? Sing, oh, there again, just blinking forward aggressively. He knows that if he blinks rages, if he sees someone, he's killing them. Cancel are really hoping to get to, like a good fail off and just have time to attack. So Sing will be out tonight the town, the center and blinks in. The Avalanche Toss can do some decent work. The Dark Sea are backing him back into the wall. Celery needs to actually survive through this. And so does Sing Sing. He's down to 37 HP, walks into the wall and actually dies that. Bambo being pushed away, but another three man crush in from Sing Sing. Too much damage. NIP, remember what they're here for. They're here to attack in and, and gain the racks. And they yeah. haven't got that yet. They've still got this Aegis on error. I mean, this is, yeah, NIP, they're, they're not going for the objective. Now, they, they don't want the kills. I mean, look at error. He just wants to make as much use as he can of the Aegis, just going straight in. There you they, go. Aegis will crack. Sindra this is a down. little bit chaotic, I feel, of NIP. They are, they're getting maybe a bit grievous, but we'll, we'll see if it pays off as Koifa comes in the with the Star the Storm. And error again with the Rage. I guess they can certainly afford to... Just play around and go for kills. And they can worry about the racks later. As Koifer picks off Bambo from the low ground. Boogie's down. Who needs racks when you can get the blood of the beans? Time and time again. Cancel and sing. Can they do anything to stop this murderous onslaught of NIP? Era rages up. Turns towards Sing. Sing tries to toss back the live stealer, But he isn't going to be able to toss back the rest of them. NIP just cleaning up. And it's all too much, Toby. You know, the hilarious thing is about that whole top Radiant's fight. Top I, it was like NIP was trying to show Beans that they were in a vulnerable position and force them to come further than just the Shrine part. So you kept the lifesteal alone. Cinderin was jumping in, baiting them to come forward. But Ninja to Pajamas were in such a great position that it, even when they tried to look like they were in a bad spot, it looked like they were in a good spot. Yeah. Uh, NIP just... Terrific game, terrific Dota. Life Sealer gets away from him, and really, Beans just had no answer. Yeah. Good, good, good game, it, good game. It really felt like just straight from the draft. As soon as that Life Stealer was picked, you know, we, we see a lot of teams go for Life Stealer Slardar, but this was a game where it was picked up, and Bean Boys, they didn't have an answer. They wanted to play Tiny Io. The OD finish was, again, you had something at least for some sort of a save, but it just isn't enough against mm. uh, a, an Era Life Stealer that. Had some Madrid's like 80 CS at something 10 minutes in. Had the first blood. Had all the start that he could have ever wished for. And uh, Bean Boys just didn't have the means to shut him down. And Era finishes the game not dying at all. So does Koifa. Very, very clean game for Ninjas in Pajamas. Well, GG, Owen. We, pl we cast two games over the course of these two days. And we haven't gone past the 25 minute mark on no, either of them. It's, you know, Ice Frog <laughs> saying, oh my goodness, what's this? Two play-by-play -play casters. Yeah. We must wire the network so the games are short.
<laughs> and indeed they were. We'll keep the level of shit low. All right, <laughs> everyone. We'll be back in just a bit <laughs> for our next game. I think Shiva is actually taking over this stream for the rest of the day. So if you want to stay tuned in for that, there's a lot more Dota coming up as well as on all the BTS channels. So we'll see you on those channels in just a bit. <laughs>